got him. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to this video. I've got a little bit different style of video for you guys today. This is actually a vlog video of like the journey of picking the boat up and running the boat for the first time and all the stuff that went along with that. It's not a fishing video. The fishing video, the introduction, that was a previous video. Go check that out. I'll leave it in the description below. If you missed that one, go check it out. But yeah, vlog style, not our normal style. I don't really know how to film them. I don't really know how to edit them, but this is my attempt. And let me know what you guys think of these vlog style videos and if you want to see more of them in the future as we do more fun things with the boat, whether it be kayak fishing or traveling or whatever we do. Just like a couple vlogs here and there. That might be fun. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 40,000 subscribers. Shameless plug. And without further ado, let's get into day one boat ownership vlog. Enjoy. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you? A 12. I'm very tired. It's quite early. But today, you guys already know what we got, but uh, we actually haven't gotten it yet because today is collection day. We wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. It's very early. We're heading down to pick it up and we're freaking pumped. But we gotta get on the road. It's 5.54. We have to leave in six minutes. Don't drink here. Not to mess it. Do not see it. We have arrived to the pickup place. Hmm. It's gotta be in the back. I'm nervous! I feel like I'm more nervous getting this in the house. Really? Yeah. I'm not more nervous getting this in the house. Really? Yeah. I think I'm more nervous to getting this because I don't know anything about it. Like anything about boats in yeah. general? Yeah. Don't let dreams be dreams. We've been, we so I meant to do all this before we actually picked it up, but I, I wish we can do it afterwards and we can talk about it when we're talking about it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I can't even talk right now. <laughs> When I'm talking about it, I'm talking about it. <laughs> what I'm saying, stop. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't even remember what I was gonna say. Basically, we bought this in February. We had to order it because they don't carry these boats. Like once they come in, they sell like that, and we could never find one exactly the way we wanted it. Uh, and they'd come in, and then like the one that did come in that we were like, yeah, that's it. It sold in like 10 minutes, and we weren't able to get on it. So. Ended up having to order it. They had to build it to our spec, which took three months. Mm -hmm. And we're finally here to pick it up. And my heart is freaking bounding. You're so funny. Nervous, excited, pumped, all of the above. I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna puke. So let's pick the boat up, let's see it. And then we'll kind of talk about, you know, I had this plan going in, like what I was gonna say and like how and we were gonna, and now I'm just like, I can't say anything. I hope you guys are as pumped as I am. We've been talking about this for a long time. I'm glad we finally made it happen. Just another tool to our fishing arsenal. It was only a matter of time. I think we made it happen quicker than we initially anticipated, yeah. which is cool. So we're gonna go fill out the paperwork, pick this thing up. The point of this video is kind of like, it's day one boat ownership. It's like the emotion. I wanna bring you guys the emotions of going through all this stuff with us. And I think that's the point of all the videos that I'm gonna make about this boat. It's like share with you guys the experience of, you know, owning a boat, everything. The highs and the lows, because I know there's gonna be lows. They don't say break out another thousand for nothing. That's fine. <laughs> I can't even cross my fingers. Last time I crossed my fingers on a video, Coop like blasted me for it. I think he said like that was the weakest fingers crossed ever. Well, my fingers don't work like that, bro. But I think it'll be cool. We'll bring you guys along with the boat ownership journey and like us like learning more about the water, learning more about new places that we haven't been able to fish before and you know, bringing you guys along for the ride. I think that was kind of the point of this. This has been a dream of ours. We're still gonna do all the other styles of fishing that we do. We're still gonna kayak fish. We didn't sell the kayaks or anything. We still have those. We still want to kayak fish. We're still absolutely gonna be doing that. But now instead of bumming rides with Nino, we'll have our own boat. We can bring Nino out with us, pay it back for the last five years that we've been slumming it on his boat. All right, let's go sign the paperwork. It looks really good in the rearview mirror, too. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. It came out perfect. Like, it came out exactly how I planned it to come out. Cora chose the color, but like the boat itself, 
I mean, it's it's our dream boat. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I don't think it's sunk in. And I'm also really trying not to curb the rims. Because it actually does have decent rims on the trailer. Getting onto the highway. Stay in the second or third lane from the right. We'll do Australian Siri. Is it funny that I want to like scream at people to stay away from me? Ah! <laughs> I would take this on like the narrowest road ever. The nerves are real. You're making me nervous. <laughs> I'm like not even trying to pay attention. <laughs> Just look at your phone. Don't, <laughs> don't pay attention to me. Alright, we're through that part. Thank God. You know, I, I don't mind driving a trailer. Like I have no problem driving a trailer. Just when it's your brand new boat sitting behind you, puts you a little bit on edge. So the goal today, launch the boat, run the boat, engine break-in. Engine break-in takes about three hours. So let me give you all the backstory on this. Obviously now you know we bought a boat based on the last video. We just picked it up. Couldn't be more excited about it. Really excited for the content that it's going to like open up for us. It's a whole new challenge and I needed something like that. Like a whole new challenge, a whole new video series to get my creative juices flowing again to make sure I can keep and continue producing good content for you guys. Like quality entertaining content. Because I like making it. I like fishing. I love boats. And somehow we were able to make it work that we got our dream boat. And I want to bring you guys along for that ride. And at this point we were just like, with all the craziness going on, we were like, let's just make it happen. Let's just do it. Let's jump head first into it. Let's film it all for you guys. Let's have some fun. I think that's what it came down to for us. If you have any questions about like, you know, plans for the boat, what we plan to do, let me know in the comments below. I know one of the things is, we, I got it pretty bare. There's nothing on it because I want to do those upgrades ourselves. And I want to get y'all's input on what you think like the best trolling motor is for it. Uh, if we should put a power pole on it, which we will put a power pole on it, but which power pole? I kind of want to do the installs myself. Cora just cringed pretty hard doing that. But I kind of want that full experience, you know what I mean? So the next fun part, launching. Oh gosh. Because <laughs> <laughs> Cora's going to do it. No, I'm not. Yes, You're you are. Lying. You're going to back, You're gonna back the trailer. What? Are yeah. you insane? You gotta learn how to back the trailer up eventually. I guess it is midday, so hopefully the boat launch won't be super crowded. It is also a Saturday. I'm just gonna warn people at the boat ramp to break out their camera phones and start recording. Oh no! <laughs> so this should be fun. God, she's so pretty. Oh. <laughs> I do have to get all this stuff organized. We will do that. But first, I'm going to put it in the shade because it's like 100 degrees out here. It's the first time you've been on it, huh? I know. How does it feel? That. Does it feel good? It does. Does it feel awesome? It does. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> and it just so happens it matches Cora's cooler, which I plan on just putting up here on the front to stand on top of the sight fish. Or I guess Cora's probably going to be doing the standing on top of it. Alright, we're going to organize this stuff real quick and then we're going to get on the water. You're good. Whew, that went relatively smoothly. Haha, <laughs> I'm pumped. And Cora's going to park it. Hopefully she doesn't hit anybody. This thing is quiet. Holy crap, this thing is quiet. Oh my god, I love it. I see her walking this way. That's probably a good sign that she didn't hit anybody. Pro tip, check if your boat has gas before you uh, launch it. And then I tried to fill it up and it like auto clicked off, so I thought it was good, but clearly not. Cora's not happy. No. She's pretty bummed out right now. Alright, round two. I didn't park as good now as... Now we have a full tank of gas. Sorry. I didn't park as good as the first time. Oh, really? Like... Bad, bad? No, not bad, bad, but not good. Good, bad. If that's a thing. I don't think good, bad's a thing. It's fine. Alright, so we're on the water by 5 o'clock. Oh my god, what a waste of time that was. Holy sh**. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. You wanna get the picture? Yes. Sorry. Maiden voyage, what up? Oil pressure. Does 
not move at all. No oil pressure on the oil pressure gauge. The, it's already cursed. It's already broken. We just bought it. That face is the face of what in the f did we just do? Dolphins. There are dolphins. Over there. He said he put oil in it. He said everything should be good to go. Yeah, and the fact that that's not moving at all, and this hasn't blown up yet, they put oil in it. I'm also gonna check this radar because that don't look nice. So now, not only does our oil pressure gauge not work, there's a giant storm right behind us. We're just getting all the bad luck out of the way right away, right? You gotta think positive. It is now raining on my mic, that's sick. We're gonna trailer this thing right now. Wait for this all to blow over. All right, third time's the charm. It does have oil in it, so it's just the gauge, as we expected. Now we can actually run the brake in. Are we? Welcome to boat ownership, Cora. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm kind of learning as we go with boats at least. Hi, <laughs> your mom just texted us. Did you get a run in? No, Miss Tracy, no, we didn't. <laughs> Anyways, we're learning. It's a learning experience. Didn't expect it to go perfectly. I kind of did expect it to go perfect. You expected it to go perfect? I did. When does anything ever go perfect? With you, never. <laughs> That's a good point. Buy a boat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They're lying. Holy shit, man. Basically- Is there like a 48 hour guaranteed return? No. If you're not a fan. You're not a fan already? I'm kind of already annoyed. Well, it's, this was basically like launching and trailering well, simulator. We, I've learned I suck. I'm gonna be awful at driving a trailer. Parking. I've I've perfected already launching and yeah. trailering we, this we boat. We have a good system. We have a good system down. So that's good. Positive news. We've gotten a lot of practice in trailering the boat. So now we can actually run the brake in. We're just motoring. We got to do this for two hours. I'm having a blast. I don't care what she says. Luckily, you guys get to skip this part. Don't put this on film. We might as well document this. We are literally 50 yards from the dock and the engine died. It's like died. Won't start. Mm -hmm. Won't turn over, won't do nothing. Um, my engine died and I'm stuck right there. If I can just get a real quick though. Dropped it off at the dealer. They were nice enough to come in to accept it back because something clearly went wrong. You know what's funny is I did say this. Owning a boat, everything, the highs and the lows, because I know there's gonna be lows. <laughs> Little did I know we'd get the highs and the lows in the same day. Like, what a kick in the you know what. I've been I mean it's frustrating. I'm it's back at the dealer on the same day that I picked it up. I always heard it could be like this, but holy are you kidding me? Like, honestly, it's like so beyond frustrating. We ran it for two hours with absolutely no problems. We get 50 freaking yards from the boat ramp and it just flat died. We were running it still at that 3000 RPMs for the first two hours of the break-in. We got to the very end of it because we timed it to get back at the same time the two hours ended. We were gonna pull the boat out and it died like be right before we got to the turn. And it, I mean, it didn't like, like I said, it didn't sound bad. It just, it like check engine light, buzzer, completely killed the engine. We'll jump, I'm, this is, we'll jump back into it when I uh, get an answer from them what happened, but they've got it now. Just wanted to catch a fish, man. Just wanted to catch some fish. All right, so here is the deal. It has been three weeks since the uh, infamous day one with this boat. We've got it back. I don't know if you can see it back there. Really long story, but basically the alarm was an overheat alarm. The pressure gauge that they told me was an oil pressure gauge that I quickly figured out was not an oil pressure gauge was a water pressure gauge. And it didn't seem like it was getting enough water pressure. Luckily the Suzuki engine, like 
their overheat alarm's pretty low, so I'm not too worried about, you know, hitting an overheat alarm. But I was worried about the fact that it wasn't making much water pressure. Suzuki's, these engines in particular, don't make much water pressure. They make a lot less water pressure than other outboard motors. But this one did not seem to be making really any. What we think happened was it was at a certain, you know, being during braking at about half throttle, not quite on plane, putting a little bit of lug on the engine, and then that mixed with maybe on the jack plate position, it wasn't getting quite adequate enough water flow through those intake ports could have led to a long term because it ran for two hours fine but the, over those two hours just kept slowly getting hotter and hotter till it triggered the overheat alarm we mitigated this issue we put this aftermarket like pickup so basically it's a increased scoop for the water pickup that will increase pressure and increase flow for this engine so even at six on the jack plate i should get plenty of water pressure and not overheat this engine which is perfect this part was made specifically for this engine in tunnel hole boats because i guess it is a known issue it is unfortunate but i'm glad we figured it out early we have now fixed the issue they ran the boat waypoint did and it performed phenomenally so I just came down, picked the boat up, and we are going to take it for another spin. And I was really upset on day one. It took longer than I wanted to get it fixed, but we are here, and this is boat ownership, man. All I'm excited to do is hopefully today catch a fish on that boat. That'll make all this worth it. Yes! Yes! Look at that stud! That is a stud! Ready? Nice and tucked away in closed storage. This was an absolute must. I've got a buddy, his dad has had his boat for 20 years and it's been in enclosed storage the entire time and it still looks like absolutely pristine. So the best way to take care of these things, fully enclosed storage, worth every penny. Cannot skimp on this for sure. I mean, this storage unit's a little bit big so we can actually put other stuff in here too, which we probably will. This one's a bit overkill, but hey, it was a good deal. Just the gas we're gonna save pays for this storage unit, not hauling it back and forth from San Antonio. So I'm pumped about it, Cora's pumped about it. This was like her number one thing. She's like, it's not sitting in our driveway. It's gotta go into a storage unit. And I agreed, so here we are. Hope you guys are as pumped for the boat as we are. Let us know some ideas, like some ideas you want us to do with the boat, like what you guys wanna see. What kind of video ideas do you guys have? I wanna make this as interactive as possible as we continue to grow the channel towards i think we're going up to 40,000 subscribers here hopefully soon so thank you guys for your continued support we are so excited for this journey hopefully you guys are as well we've already had the highs and the lows and so far since since we fixed the initial issue it's been nothing but highs thank you guys so much for your support we'll see you on the next one Bye. it's so hot it's like 100 we're going home